Hi everyone, it's Patch Day again. Episode 18 just came out, dude. It looks like it's gonna be good. I'm looking forward to the story, to be honest. I did the Royal Banquet, Terra Gloria, Illusion, Legacy of the Wise One. I genuinely enjoyed the story, so I'm looking forward to this one just to continue the story. And it looks like a prerequisite of being able to do this is you have to do the Legacy of the Wise One, so you'd have to go back to the story and before you can start this one. And uh, Direction of Prayer looks like it's a level 170 requirement. I kind of wish it's a 150 requirement. Simply because 150 to 170, it's kind of slow for me to level. It's, it's just that the dailies are not that much and they don't give that much experience. So I wish it was 150, but no, it's a level 170. Direction of Prayer seems to be good. There's some other stuff that's happening. I'll, I'll talk to them about them later. But mostly the Direction of players, uh, Prayer starts with Smart Ellie. I think this is where uh, at the mansion in the airship. I think that's where she is. So that'll start where the story begins and level 170 and higher like I said. So hopefully this will be good. Uh, there's a new currency that they're giving out, Amnesty Fragments. They can use them for buying weapon I believe and also upgrading and stuff. There's a new set of armor for free to play prayers to be able to acquire. Uh, they're called Grey Wolf uh, items. So this one is, it, it looks like the story will continue and you'll will end up in Rachel that's where the story will begin and also there's a reputation system now in the game reputation system I don't know how they're gonna implement a reputation system but this is the guy we need to talk to 100 points you get storage and services to the teleport service to Rachel three gray wolf refining box added to the shop okay so you can buy the refining box and plus nine refining box added to the shop Additional Amnesty Fragment Reward from Daily Quest. Okay, so there's Daily Quest in here. Nice. In the village, additional Amnesty Fragment Reward from Memorial Dungeon. And there's also Memorial Dungeon. Dude, this is a nice update. So I'm looking forward to it. It looks like there's two Memorial Dungeons. Magic Box that refine Grey Weapon to 7. And there's a Magic Box that refine it to plus 9. So those are the reputation that we were gonna do. Uh, Grey Wolf Equipment are here. Uh, you trade your Amnesty Fragments for a series of equipment. 350, I don't know how hard you'll get the Amnesty Fragments, but 350 seems to be doable. Suit, robe, mantle, boots, shoes. Uh, let's see what the boot is an example. Boots given to recognize Grey Wolf Tribe. Max SP 300, max SP plus 50 per refine rate. If refine plus 7 or higher, increases long range physical damage. I think this will be good for my, for my Dragon Knight. I could usually use the SP for more damage and also the long range. Uh, let's see what the armor. Okay, the mantle. Max 250, 250 armor. So this is still good again for my rune knight. More HP, more damage. Plus 50 for every two refine. If refine plus 7, attack speed up. And that's not too good. Oh, there's another mantle. This one's max 150, 150 or higher. Oh, this is just a muffler. Huh. I wonder what's the difference. If I reduce variable casting time. Oh, if you want to reduce the best variable casting time. Necklace. Let's take the armor. Okay. M magic attack 130 plus 15 refine rate. Higher. Reduce variable casting time. Where's the other? Okay, here's the other armor. Attack plus 130. Attack plus 15 per 2 refine. If refine to 7 or higher, 15%. Set. Reduce the global delay of skills by 10%. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I think it's better than the grace equipment. Alright, now we have a new card. Increase earth property magic damage by 35%. Ash toads. So these are the new cards that's available in the game. Increase neutral property magic damage by 35%. Uh, not bad, not bad. This was accessory. Neutral property and you have an, uh, it an accessory. That's good. Ash ring. When compounded on staff or wood or two-handed staff, increase shadow property magic damage. When weapon provide plus ten shadow property. Okay, so shadow property. Increase wind property magic damage by thirty-five percent. Increase aspect consumption by ten percent. Okay, so you increase it. Increase melee physical damage for six percent, and it's in an accessory, dude. Nice. Compounded on Qatar, increase melee physical damage by ten percent. 
Uh, increased melee physical damage. So this is specifically for a Qatar user. Nice. That's cool. Spark. Attack plus 5. Increased physical damage against fire property enemies by 10%. Lava Toad. Increased fire property magic 35 plus. Uh, increased melee physical 6 damage compounded phantom. They're, mo they're mostly damage. Oh, this one's a defensive one. And it goes in the armor. Defense plus 50. Reduce physical and magical damage taken from shadow property by 10%. Tumbling ring. Increase neutral and shadow property magic damage by 5%. For every refine rate and choose, increase neutral and shadow property magic damage. Okay, cool. Volcanic ring. Increase fire property damage. And this is the MVP card. Increase melee physical damage by 20%. That's cool. Increase damage taken from all property by 5%. 15%. Ah, that's one thing that sucks. Dude. Why does it have to increase the damage taken? It's just, it feels like it's such a big disadvantage. One good thing about this update is we have two new immemorial dungeons instances that we can do. The first one is the Villa of Deception. It looks really nice. Uh, the requirement is you have to be... Uh, base level 170, 60 minutes, and one day of uh, cooldown. That is nice, as you can do it daily. And it'll give you 8 MSD fragments, or plus or 10 if you have a level 5 reputation. Dude, that is nice. And with this instance, it'll drop a weapon for you, which is really good, dude. This is good for free-to-play players to get a chance to get a, a higher level. For, for normal mode, do you have a chance for Potenix Courage and Wisdom? And also, you, they, if you do the normal, there's a chance that an Adult Arphidus weapon will drop f by defeating Skula and Twisted Gods in normal mode. These weapons can be upgraded as well. Oh, and this one's a Villa Basement. You can get it from the normal mode. And then you can use it to enter the hard mode. Hard mode, these are the items that you can get that drops. Okay. Using Purification Blueprint will grant you three random blueprints and the following list that are needed to reform the specific items. So you can upgrade the weapons that you have. You can turn them into... Okay, furthermore, Defeating Skull and Twisted Get in Hard Mode will have a chance to drop the new BBT's Fine Weapon series, pre-enchanted with two options. So if you if you complete the Hard Mode, you'll get the Vivetus weapons and stuff. So, But you can reform the lower one if you if you have the materials. And it looks like for basic purification, okay, if you have a plus 9 adult or fetus weapon and 200 MST, holy oil, holy purification, shrouded rest, and specified blueprint, then you'll get a plus 4 Vivitus fine weapon. You can get a higher level of the Vivitus by doing the advanced purification, right? The difference is you'll have, you'll need 400, uh, you'll need holy oil. And water purification and 20, 200 at the Shroud of Rest and Fidis Blueprint. I think this is not worth it because it's not that hard to get a plus 8 anyways. Just get it to plus 7 and roll for plus 8 is easy compared to just using so much equipment just to get it to plus 8. So these are the new weapons. An example of this is a 200 field. Okay. So this is the one for Rune Knight. Uh, Increase wind cutter 10%, attack plus 18%, refine plus 7, increase wind cutter damage by 20%, if refine plus 9, reduce cooldown by 10%, uh, increase wind cutter damage by additional 25, if it's plus 11, if it's plus 12, increase melee physical damage 50%, 200 sword, it's a good item to grind if you're just playing free to play, you don't have to spend money, you just have to get this, grind the material, and boom, you have a new, uh, Adult or fit is 200 sword. These are class specific. I am not gonna read all of them. There's just too many of them. This is another one for the rune knight, and it looks like hundred spear is the main uh, skill that this g gives. And just make sure you just check here in War Portal to see what what weapon your class can have. I'm not gonna read them all because it's gonna last forever if I were to do it. There's just too many weapons to read and stuff. So, but the main point is you can upgrade these adulter uh, weapons into a Vivitus weapon. I'm just scrolling really fast. I'm sorry if it's making you dizzy. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The Vivitus Fidus series. So this is the upgraded version you can get from hard mode or if you upgraded your weapon. Uh, increase wind cutter damage by 10%, attack plus 18%, refine rate, increase wind cutter damage 20%. 
Reduce global cooldown 10%. Increase wind cutter damage 25%. Dude, increase melee physical damage 15%. This is nice. But it has a requirement of level 210. And it is a level 5 weapon. If you don't have a level 5 weapon now, this is a great chance to get it. I think I will personally do this and grind for it. Because I don't have a plus 5 weapon and I, I want one. I just want one. <laughs> so I can experience it. And there are multiple... Uh, Katara is really good as well. This one is counter slash if you were to build a counter slash. I wonder if there's a cross impact on on this uh, Vivitas one. Uh, let's see. Maybe there is. I just maybe missed it. But here we go. Claw. That one's for Sura. Uh, nope. That's it. Okay. And you can enchant this item with uh uh, it says Point of Scourge has a chance to drop by enemies in V of Deception normal mode. So there's a normal mode upgrade, and then there's physical and magic. Uh, there is a Potenix Tennessee. These are the higher level, and they are required in hard mode. And attack plus 12 instead of the attack plus 10. These are the more advanced uh, option that you can upgrade your your weapon with. Very cool. And we do have new two cards, mini boss. Oh, okay, they're all boss card. Increase magic damage against angel race, 75%. Increase damage taken from angel race by 25%. Ah, there's a downside. Increase magical damage to demon race by 75%. Increase damage taken from demon race enemies by 25%. So those are the new card. There is another memorial dungeon that's happening right now. It's a sanctuary of purification. Nice, dude. We have two memorial dungeons, and this one is uh, level 170 as well. And also, you have to finish the uh, episode 18 main quest. It's the same for the other dungeon as well. You have to do the story. So if you haven't started, start now. Clearing the temple. It looks like a simple. Ah, there's like puzzles as well. You have to. I hope Wiki update updates their stuff so we can get this uh, step by step and that's it there's no nothing special in this one though it probably just gives the amnesty uh, item okay and now new system enchantment okay gray wolf you can enchant right you just have to get the gray wolf and enchant them with various enchantments looks really cool okay enchantment slot 4 slot 3 slot 2 okay it requires 15 amnesty 25 amnesty 50 amnesty and some zenies possible enchant on armor slot here it is and enchantment armor slot 3 strength vitality ranger warrior mage and magic defense enchant armor slot 3 this looks like really specific one there's a dragon breath one a cutter break. I guess if the, if you were a wind cutter user, that's what you use. I don't see cart cannon done. Gloria Genesis boost cannon. Maybe this is a cart cannon one. I don't know. It doesn't say, but I have a feeling that it is. And there's some good uh, third level items uh, that you can enchant. Enchant garment slot for just basic int. Casters hit enchantment. So these are mostly for probably magic casters, and they want the other ones are phys uh, more physical one. Enchant slot for wolf vital mental rebirth foot gear. So there's a lot of stuff that we can use to enchant our our weapons, especially the wolf. I think this is mainly for the wolf armor that's gonna be coming out. Perfect enchant, 200 MST. Okay. You can choose available highest enchantment level for every gray web wolf equipment on slot 2. Successful 100, 200, 2500 pieces amnesty plus 10 million to slot a perfect. Uh, oh my god, dude, that is expensive. But if it's easy to acquire, maybe it's okay. Re uh, reset enchantment. Oh, you're not satisfied, you can reset your enchantment. Alright, that's cool. You can reset it whenever you want. Item reform system. This is what I wanted to talk about really. So basically you can uh, enchant more gemstones on... Uh, no, these are items you need to enchant 
or upgrade your weapons. See, those are all stones. I think you, and also there's a shadow con, uh, or you can now refine them into uh, it says right here. You can talk to the refinement to convert certain amount of shadow con ore into a shadow decon. I have a lot of shadow decon ore, so uh, this is a good thing. You can get the shadow uh, decon at as well this is the main thing i wanted to talk about is the reforming weapon so you can use your thanatos weapon and os weapon and turn them into a higher level ones so there's a low low rate uh reform and intermediate reform so it looks like here this is the low modification you need the plus nine thanatos weapon or an os plus nine as well so this is so this is what it's showing that if you have a plus 9, you can turn it into this advanced weapon, which is really cool. Material requirement, 100 gray shard, a 100 weapon enchantment stone. Uh, yeah, so gray shard, I don't know where to get it. Actually, I didn't read where that is, but you need 100 gray, uh, gray stone. It's probably in the new episode that you'll get these stones, but these are the enchantment stone that you need for low one and middle one. And here it is. Uh, you just need this grace. Ah, oh, dude, it looks like one of the Thanatos. Uh, when you go to Thanatos uh, instance, you get this gray stone. Oh, okay, it makes sense now where you get it. And then you need a hundred of the gemstone, the lower one. And then you can turn, turn it into uh, plus four night Thanatos Qatar AD. But there's a intermediate to if you use that one, it'll just put the weapon into plus eight, I believe. Uh, it looks like it kept the it kept the card as well. So this is a plus nine. This is the intermediate one. You need the intermediate gemstone a hundred and that shadow sh gray sh gray shard. And instead of plus four, it, it kept it to plus eight. I don't know if that's worth it or not. To be honest, it's really easy to get the plus eight. So here's an example of uh, Thanatos advanced weapon. So Thanatos great sword AD. When dealing physical damage has a chance to recover 2,500 HP and SP every one second for four times. Attack plus 10 for every pine. So it's like a Thanatos weapon but better. Increase wind cutter damage 10% for 3 refine rate. If front plus 7, attack plus 10. Increase wind cutter damage by additional 20. If refine to plus 9 or higher, attack plus 5. When dealing normal melee physical damage has a chance to auto cast wind cutter level 2. If user has a higher level, then level will be cast instead. If plus 11, increase physical damage against all size enemies by 15%. Increase melee physical damage by 15%. Dude, that's nice. And it looks like it's just whatever uh, Thanatos weapon that you have already. It'll just make it better. Oh, and I'd like to say that the requirement is 190. And it'll turn your weapon into a level 5 weapon. So I don't know how hard it is to upgrade a plus 8 on weapon level 5 i don't know i just haven't experienced refining a le weapon level 5 actually i don't have a level 5 weapon and would love to have one so you just have to read on the weapon that you have it's just too much i don't want to make the video longer than it should be and then there is the os weapon os ad series same as the same as the Thanatos equipment now you can upgrade your your os weapon so you just need 70 of these. Core core is you can get this by doing, uh, what is it? Uh, is it legacy? Oh, no, it's the illusion, illusion uh, story quest. And then there's the dailies that you can get core core and uh, chip. Very easy to do. Uh, plus seven claymore. So basically this is what it is, a night night beam and then it'll turn it into a, an advanced version of it before reform also this is before reform and then after reform you get the plus seven night beam clay ah uh, yeah dude it's it's very easy it doesn't look like this one has an advanced maybe maybe it does it just didn't show in the explanation that it has the intermediate reform but here's an example, a claimy OS or model. Okay, can't be destroyed in battle. Crit plus 10, plus 7, increase attack speed, attack by 10%. Uh, reduce delay after... Oh, nice. 
If refined to plus 9 or higher, increase critical damage by 20%, increase storm blast by 25%. If refined to plus 11 or higher, increase physical and magical damage against small and medium sized enemies by 25%. And it's level 170, weapon level 5. Uh, classes and it looks like yeah it's it's just whatever OS you have they'll just make it better this is really good you know there's another path for free to play players to get stronger weapons I definitely love this now I don't have to spend that much money on uh, on a weapon that I just want to free to play you know it's very good I, I believe it's a good upgrade uh, that is the episode 18 <laughs> updates and stuff there is the Kachua key. I didn't read this last time, but they're just the items that you can get in the Kachua. I... let's see. I kind of don't want to read all of it, but like a spellcaster armor shadow gear, and then you can turn it into a spellcaster. Spellcaster if you get all six of these. It's, it's something beyond my capability right now. I don't have that much money to spend in the game. This one's auto spell. And then there's the auto spell. You can turn it into a major auto spell. Mm. Yeah, you only have to read uh, on all of these. But there is a. Uh, these are the items that I would like really want to talk about. It's because of the Helm of Fate series. Oh, so this box will give you like this item. Uh, let's see. This one is uh, specifically for Warlock. Archbishop. Let's see the rune knight. If there's a rune knight, royal guard. Oh, royal guard is the uh, glutton claws. Rune knight. Here we go. Rune knight. So these are for the new weapons that you can get from the one of the daily instants. And you can't get this item, but it it's a set with them. Okay, let's see. If the user base level is two ten or higher, power plus two, attack plus one. If the user base level is 230 or higher, POW 3, P personal attack plus 2. I'm sorry about my dog. Attack plus 10 and refine 2. Increase wind cutter ignition break damage by 15% for 3 refine. Increase melee physical damage by 7% per 4 refine level. If refine rate is 7 or higher, increase physical damage against all size enemy by 5%. If refine plus 9, reduce casting time by 2 tier 2. If refine rate is 11 or higher, attack plus 15, reduce physical fixed casting time by additional 0 0.3 and here is the one i'm talking about it's a set bonus of the fate uh, adult or fine two hand sword that i was reading earlier reduce skill duration of ignition break by 0 point cast reduce wind cutter and ignition break damage oh increase increase wind cutter and ignition break damage by five for three refine rate and ha weapon <laughs> and it is, you can use it to the higher level of the Vivetus two-hand weapon as well. Uh, okay, reduce cooldown ignition break by one second if you have that. Increase wind cutter ignition break 5% storm slash 7% per 35. If upgraded to C or higher, increase storm slash damage by additional 15%. Headgear, it's in headgear so you'll need to have an extra slot on that one. It's not a costume or a shadow gear. So, yeah, you have to dedicate one slot. Defense, uh, armor. That's a uh, level 2 armor and 180. I think it's okay. Nothing too special. But it's here in the Kachua key if you want to, to get it. And Thanatos Helmet Series. Okay, so if you have an uh, Thanatos as well, then you can do this. Okay, Thanatos Warrior Helmet, Thanatos Axe AD. Nice. So did they set as if you have that item, it'll it'll combo with that one. So yeah, how come it didn't have the OS though? Am I reading it wrong? No, it's all it's just purely Thanatos. Let's see how good it is. Increase increase physical and magical damage against all sizes by enemy ten percent. Increase dupe light damage by ten percent. Refine set bonus. Max HP plus ten percent. Increase tiger cannon damage by ten percent for two refined eight weapon. Set bonus. Uh, knuckle. And this one is Qatar. Okay, so you can have this item. And it'll serve to set. It go knuckle or Qatar. So okay, reduce global cooldown by ten percent. Increase rolling cutter damage by ten percent per two refine rate of this weapon. Mm, it's okay, I guess. You just have to dedicate the slot for it, and then you have to have a Thanatos weapon. 
it's cool so they are uh what are these made for specific class random one shoe out of six in total oh okay so this one's a shoe one uh let's read how the sort yeah attack plus 50 every two level upgrade plus 10 every four increase damage se severe storm so friend of plus nine reduce casting 0.5 uh, 11 higher reduce delay after using skill by 10% so zodiac boots Hermes memory I don't know what that is dude uh, gritty memory for every four upgrade level weapon increase range physical damage by I don't know what the gritty memory is you guys let me know in the comment section what they are flame memory mostly f memory Margaret memory Chen memory uh, set bonus with birdie dm and cecile's memory okay there's a memory here so you have to do the the memory set for you to be able to like really enjoy that one kachua keys aka how you get the kachua keys and stuff and these are the is where you get them overseas weapon i talked about it last update but this is the only one that is really good that i can see uh, is for increased cross impact and stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna talk again on this uh, overseas package. I don't have the money anyways to buy them. And that's mostly all of the updates that we're having. But this one is the you still have the cyber uh, and uh, costume and stuff. It's all right, right? Last thing I want to talk about is the event. Corridor Phantom has ended. Uh, Easter to continue. 20th anniversary. Enrich. Katrua box. Uh, buy 10, get 2. Uh, I personally think this is a good update. Really good. We got two new dungeons. A new story. Episode 8. It's a win. It's a win for everyone. It's a win for free to play players as well. They, there's a new weapon they can grind and get. And there's a new armor set that we can get from episode 18 as well. I think this is a good uh, update. I hope everyone enjoys it. I am gonna do a live stream probably later just to do the story. I'm really sorry if it's mostly reading. But I really want to read the story and enjoy it. Uh, it'll be nice if, if uh, the story is long. Alright everyone, this is the update that's happening May 21 today. It should be out by the time you watch this. Alright, bye everyone. Catch you on my next video. Bye!